Come on, girls. Let's have cake. Suzanne Grayson had the most spectacular dollhouse I had ever seen. The thing I remember most was the porch that wrapped around the house. To me, this was the biggest luxury any doll or human could ever hope for. I thought if I ever had a porch that magnificent, I would never have to do another thing. Joey, no! You have to wait for my father to open it, and he's not home yet. Don't you just lift the latch and pull it open? Don't! You have to be careful! I will be. Each room was beautifully decorated. It had carpeting in the bedrooms, polished wood floors with little woven rugs, hand-painted wallpaper, pictures in frames, working electricity, bedspreads with sheets underneath them, a small roll of toilet tissue in the bathroom, a box of diapers in the baby's room, a baby in its cradle, books on a bookshelf, a working doorbell, dishes in the break front, canned food in the cabinets, and a pie in the oven. I think Suzanne knew why I was suddenly more interested in her. Because every time I suggested we play with the dollhouse, she would postpone my delight. She'd say, okay, but... After manhunt, 27, 28, 29, 30. Manhunt was extreme hide and seek. Our only limitations as to hiding places were the city limits of our small beach town. We could literally hide anywhere outside. The game took hours to complete. 